How's the hanging 2K heads? This is 2K Kingslayer, back again with another NBA 2K18 video. This one isn't really a tutorial, it's more just me kind of labbing some stuff, using Play Now Online. I'm using the Lakers, and I'm going to run Julius Randle as a point center of sorts, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. But before we get into it, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to promote simp gameplay on the online community as much as possible, so if that's something you support, please help me out, like, and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay, so, first of all, I'm gonna change my starting lineup from the default. Uh, Andrew Bogut is essentially useless in this game. He's not even that great of a defender. So, I'm actually gonna put Julius Randle at our starting center spot. And this is one of the best lineups that the Lakers have in real life when they start Kuzma and Randall at the power forward and center spots. So that's what I'm going to do here. And what we want to do is attack Enos Kanter because he's a really bad defender. So we're going to use Julius Randall as sort of a point center to run the offense through him. And I'm going to show you guys how to set that up aside from the lineups. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit options. And we're going to go to assign plays. And what we're focusing on here is Julius Randle. We're going to change his first priority to pick and roll ball handler because that's going to give him a bunch of pick and roll plays that he can handle the ball from. So yeah, we're, we're not focusing even on any play particular in there, but we're just going to use him as a high usage ball handler in this offense. So we're going to keep this relatively simple. We're going to put the ball in Julius Randle's hands. He's going to kick it out. No good there, but Randall, such a good rebounder that he was able to get the offensive board there. Randall hits Ingram on the split cuts. That's out of that Lakers freelance set, so we didn't even have to call a play there. Let's run it down on the other end. Randall handling the ball. Taking a while to get into the play here. That was my mistake. But we're going to run this fist short play. Randall taking it right to the basket. He's a freight train. So if no one comes up on him, he can do that. Just drive right in. He throws his body around. In real life, he's a little erratic. But that'll work in this game. So I like this play right here. Randall, again, the ball handler, able to come around the screen. And he kicks it out to the outside for the relatively open three. So this is working like gangbusters so far. On the break, Randall gets it down. Gets another assist. So three assists here in the early going. And now what my opponent started doing was double teaming Julius Randle because he started figuring out what I was doing, but double teaming him is not going to work. You're going to have to be quicker than that if you're going to double team him because he is a freight train. That's what I'm going to nickname this point center offense, the freight train offense. So here we go once again, Julius Randle out of that Lakers freelance set top of the key moving the ball around he finds a seam there and knocks it down Julius Randle there taking advantage of that awful awful blow by animation which needs to go but nothing wrong with taking advantage of it while it's still in the game which it probably will be for the rest of this year because I don't think 2k has any plans to fix that other end Kyle Kuzma but a bing so Randle didn't get the assist there but that occurred because Randall also happens to be a pretty good defender. He's not going to get a lot of blocked shots, but he had some nice defense on that play. And that led to easy offense. That time Randall with an assist to Lonzo Ball. Lonzo was so open that he was able to make a three-pointer. Imagine that. His three-pointers have actually been going up recently. So again, that time Randall, he's one of the better ball handlers out of the potential centers in this game. I know that he's really more of a power forward, but in real life, I feel like his best position is center. The Lakers do pretty well when you put Julius Randle at center and Kyle Kuzma at power forward. So that should be their starting lineup, to be honest with you. If there are any Lakers fans out there who agree with me, hit me up, or just any non-Lakers fans who watch enough games to have an informed opinion about this. But other end, Ingram with the rebound, those long, lanky arms. So again, we're going to push with Julius to Lonzo. Back to Julius. Back to Lonzo. 
And Lonzo knocks it down wide open from the corner, but a bang. And my opponent keeps calling timeouts. He doesn't know what to do about this. A highly unorthodox offensive style here. If he weren't lazy, he could really just go into his matchups, go into his defensive settings and adjust some things. And this is the GOAT League, so you would think that people would do that more, but people are just too lazy. A lot of people do not adjust their settings. But anyway, back to the action. Randall, the freight train, once again, getting to the rim. Easy finish. Oh, nice little shovel pass that time from Julius Randall. That was pretty. Blow-by animation. Again, disgusting. I feel dirty doing it. But that time, Randall gets the hockey assist. A pass to an assist, so that's not going to come up on the box score. But again, the New York Knicks got to call a timeout. They don't know what to do. They are befuddled and flabbergasted. On the break, Randall gets blocked. But Kuzma gets it back to Randall with the easy finish. So as you can see, he's managed to cut this lead down to two points. So my opponent is not bad. But we're going to go back to the well, go with what works. Uh-oh. Didn't work there. Randall loses the ball. That was my fault. That was a user error. I just dribbled right into traffic. And you can't do that. So Porzingis able to tie the game up. And now we're the ones that got to call a timeout. So 12 seconds remaining on the game. Julius in the post. Calls for a cut from Ingram, puts it down, hoop and the harm. Goodness gracious, Brandon Ingram with a clutch bucket. He's going to have to knock down this free throw though. Ingram hits it. So it's a three point game. Lakers not out of the woods just yet, but let's see what happens. Here's Porzingis. Nice defense by Kuzma, and that will do it, ladies and gentlemen. So it got a little rocky near the end there. Like I said, this is the GOAT League, so my opponent was actually pretty decent. You're not going to play a lot of trash players when you get to the GOAT League and play now online. But Julius Randle, he is a great point center, and you can get away with doing this type of offense with teams like... Uh, you know, maybe even the Pelicans, you could do this with like DeMarcus Cousins and Anthony Davis. But anyway, check out the stat line. 14 points, 7 boards, 9 assists. A little high on the turnovers, so we want to try and get that down next time. But yeah, try this out online, guys. Let me know how this works for you. I find it a lot of fun, personally. But yeah, that'll do it for today. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know if this works for you guys. I'll be back soon. Happy gaming, y'all.